Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and there's some chain chomps. And I don't like that. So I'm going to take them out with my buddy Coops. And there's some really annoying enemies, as you know, they're rather strong. You know, the chain chomps, but what I gotta say, except the fact I gotta dump a single defense, so much defense. I don't even know what to do with it. So I'm going to come out here, use a shell slam attack. Which works actually very, very well against them. So they only have 7 HP, a crud low defense, so... You know, it's kind of win-win for everybody. Over there. And uh, I think my mic was unplugged for a second. I wasn't... I wasn't... Anywho! Yeah, those are really annoying enemies. They are... Not fun, but they do give a good amount of experience. That enemy actually had uh, three chain chomps, so maybe you'll have to mix up your strategy to defeat them. Okay, everyone has pretty good HP. Alright, so let's heal up real fast. As we do a tiny bit of puzzle solving to figure out what this underground city is all about. I don't know. This game did have a really good art direction. I'm still really impressed by this place even today. It's just so cool looking, gosh! It's like old lamps, I don't know. Final areas in in video games could literally be an art form in itself, because if it's really weird and disturbing, like like I don't know, like to me, like final bosses and final areas in a video game is more is sometimes even more important than the game itself, because like if you have a really lame final boss, it's the really lame final area. You just walk into a room in an office and he's like, "Hi, I'm Ted, the final boss." And you just shoot him in the face. That's stupid and lame. But if Ted's, like, in the inter interdimensional rift of, like, the universe, and he fused with, like, a manticorn or something, you know, that's memorable. It's stinking weird, but, you know, that's memorable as a dump. I mean, jeez, that's cool. I don't know. I just like stuff about that. This is an example of one of those play. Come on, Bobbery. You can fit in there. Come on. Anyways. So we're going to hit these two buttons on these chain shop statues, and that's going to unveil something. For later, though. For later. Should keep that in mind. I'll do this in a little bit. We're gonna come back here. I'm gonna tell you guys, hey, y'all remember when I did this stuff? Yeah, now that that's important. I'm gonna say that exactly word for word. Then again, probably not, because I have a very bad short term memory loss. No, actually, I just have really bad memory. Anyways, no, no, I guess I have long, good long term memory and then a really bad, like, short term. I don't know. I guess I'm just stupid. And here's a new enemy. This guy, his silly Billy J. He's a crazy man. Crazy. Actually, I actually have no idea what these guys actually do, so I'm gonna, for once in the game, use the title, Ability. Actually, we've done it before, but I'm using it now. And yeah, the Dark Wizard. Part machine, attack, and max HP is, holy crap, they have two defense, that sucks. They do a bunch of magic attacks and confuse you. These guys are complete turds. I hate them. I want them dead. They were even stronger in the Pit of Hunter Trials, and I believe you. Me, however you say that, okay, whatever. They are pain in the butts. I'm not even gonna let them attack because I hate them that much. They can just make clones on themselves. They're evil. Kill those guys. All right, enough of that. I didn't show that anime off at all. <laughs> I just killed it without even thinking. All right. But yeah, those guys suck. So let's move on to uh. Ooh, this place sucks. Never mind. It's time to go with my Yoshi Cole. I don't ever call him that name. Why do I even give him a nickname? Just got him Yoshi. Black Yoshi or BLK Yoshi, because that's the abbreviation of black. Yeah, don't even think that would fit. Okay, just dodge that. That's pretty lucky, and I'm talking excessively fast. That annoys every single person on the face of the earth, except for my grandma. Okay, let's just hustle. But yes, this hallway is exceptionally long. As if you needed me to tell you that. Gosh, what is wrong with me? Is there pills you can take to not state the obvious? Because I would chug those. Okay, never mind. Chugging pills is bad. Don't do that. I'm. I'm telling you. Oh boy, save block. I'm breaking the rules, cause I'm a bad kid. Yeah, I hate saving. Well, the crowd is on the other side of the super long hallway. I don't know. And who are you? Well, I'm Mario, man. What's up with you? Oh. Hey, it's Hooktail, but he went black and purple. He sells those weird hair things, though. No one disturbs me here. Eons. Uh, who dared to file the sacred place? Hey, is that a hook tail? We totally beat it before. What's it doing back? What? You destroyed my precious young sister. I wondered why she had written recently. Quick and fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. 
And yes, this is Gloom Tail, oddly enough. Puck Tail's just a girl. I'm saying girls are weaker or boys, but whatever, yeah. <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Let me take my time and toy with you a while. And yes, guys, this is a very, very challenging boss fight with Gloom Tail. If you do not pick up those feeling fine badges or do not currently have the F or the BP to equip them, I feel sorry for you. And this is gonna be a rough one. You want Vivian for this for a variety of reasons, but enough of that. Let's start power lifting. First off, okay, yeah, this guy has a crud load of defense and a crud load of stuff. So uh, well, usually what I would do is I would actually use um Goombella and Power Balance, but I just feel like that's really boring to watch and kind of cheap, so I'm gonna actually go kind of a weaker way of doing this, but at the same time it is more amusing to watch, and okay, three and two, I'm not complaining. Actually, I am. I could have had three and three. But okay, whatever. Let's just shadow fist him in the nose. Big, big fat nose. Did five damage. I mean, that's 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 good. That's good because this, this guy's just crazy. Doing seven damage. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could be this. <laughs> I should have saved. Okay. Let's start spring jumping. I don't know. Would spring jumping be better? I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna. Go, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It's kind of hard to do the timing though. Ugh. Dang! Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Uh, okay. See, the thing is, he just does so much more damage to you. It's such a hard boss, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Yeah, this, play this guy is actually pretty darn intimate. Oh my gosh. Shut up, dude! Just fight him! <laughs> gosh. Alright. I want to put Vivian out for on. I guess I'm just a terrible, terrible leader. But I'd rather my subordinates get harmed instead of me. I just feel like doing power smashes is a lot smarter, so I'm gonna do that. Mm. <clears throat> yes, nine whole damage. Uh, tough meat, but tasty morsels. But how do you fare against this? And oh boy, ugh, dang. We're gonna have to. We're either gonna have to use a. Uh, I don't want to though. That's so annoying. We're either gonna have to use a jelly ultra or an ultra shroom. I don't know. Walk his bump would probably be better, but. I don't know! I don't want to use my items, okay. In the meantime, though, I think I'm just gonna power lift. I guess I will consume one item. I mean, oh, this is super hard to get. Those jelly ultras, yeah, but they're really not. Save up money. Anyways, more power lifting. Unless shit, must being annoying, John. Right, yeah. Okay. Ah, dang it, I missed the. Ugh, the arrows are what I need the most. My whole strategy is just burning him out. That's a lot of poison mushroom. Okay. Ah, two and two. Son of a... That's even worse. Come on, dude. Get in the game. What are you doing? This boss is actually kicking my butt for the most part. Mmm. Ah, but see, I couldn't heal Vivian. That's a thing, and I need her. All right, I'm just going to compromise and uh, heal Mario up with one of these random... I think I combined a Honey Syrup and a Super Shroom to get that, so that's not bad. But anyways. No, it was a Mushroom and a Super Shroom. And it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. So shut up. We got a curse. Yip to do. This is great. Really, though, you will be needing those Feeling Fine badges, so I would either take off... I should take off my Power Plus, because it's just one little damage that's not helping a whole lot. Okay. And he's no longer burned. Alright, so... The Spring Jumps are really doing a lot more damage, but the thing is, on this... On him, it's so hard to hit that Action Command. I'm serious. It's pretty freaking tough. Okay. No, he ain't get hit by the... The Mist! The Mist, and I want to get a uh, Life Up thing. That'd be great, just because I'm not hitting I'm not hitting hits, so I need something. Gah, you're not easy prey, you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power! Oh my gosh, he's plus eight. Yeah, this attack can kill you really fast, buddy. So I would, I would, uh, I would really want Vivian for this, don't miss. Okay, hit the... Messed up the action green. Yes, Veil, do not miss this. You need to hide from this attack. And, uh, oh, I really wanted that too. Mega Breath! <laughs> I did nothing. Ugh, you're gonna steal my true power now? Not really. Not really, no crap. One of the bombs is gonna go off. Crap. Ooh, Vivian, you're really low on HP. That is not Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Show. Okay. Let's just continue Spring Jump. <laughs> I'm so ridiculous. Oh, I did not. I did not come co prepared for this at all. Mm, okay. Oh, he only has five left. Sweet. Okay, I know Mario can take another hit, but I'm not sure how Vivian. Oh, this has come down to the wire. 
Alright, let's just go for Shade Fist. I, okay, this is like bad. I should have. I need more. I need more level ups because this is a tiny bit ridiculous. <laughs> Ugh, how can this be? Come on, don't kill Vivian. Don't kill Vivian. Yay! We win. Awesome. Yeah, Gloomtail actually gave me a run for my money. I guess power lifts aren't gonna help us out too much anymore. They're practically required at this point. But anyways, yeah, you know, like I was. Oh, I guess they were like, I see what you do when you hit that person that was gonna throw a rock at you. That's not. And I might. Whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Don't be stupid here. This is where it counts. And alright, so we beat Gloomtail after actually. Kind of freaking out there for a second. And anyways, that's true. Can I expire? Yeah, this time we didn't have any crickets noises to rely on to beat a giant dragon. And yeah, that's just a taste of the boss fights coming up later in this evil realm of evilness. And yeah, we did it! We beat Gloomtail. Nah. It's kind of underwhelming. But what's he got? Huh? Is there another crystal star? Well, actually, yeah, it kind of is. Huh. And yeah, it kind of bro broke the fourth wall here. Or not really fourth wall, it just kind of secrets broke it. Yeah, we got the star key! It's kind of crystally. Yeah. It's really actually required for the next puzzle. I'm actually either going to be tackling the next episode, I don't know. Because we're already really far on this part. Eh, I'll get started, I guess. There's no harm in doing that, I suppose. Uh, I do not want to get in boss or any encounters, because we need to hit the uh, the heal station pretty quickly. That would not hurt at all. Yeah, oh my gosh. I guess I need to work out my badge setups. I really need to take up that power plus, because it's not helping at all. Taking up all that BP that could be used either for feeling fines or something. I don't know. I guess I do. I really don't want to do this because you know I mean that notion in Kingdom Hearts. Let's play with always over level. I feel like I'm just so under level. Gosh. I mean I may grind a little bit off screen. I'm not sure though. Let's see what actual level I am at. Uh, 20. Yeah, the max in this game is like 30, and we're at the final place. I need to do some level ups, guys. Bad. <laughs> I guess I'll take care of that next episode. Maybe I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I don't, I don't like the idea, though, of going from so much HP and FP. Like, I, I have, like, 40 and 35 to, like, maxing them out. I don't know. I'll do it. <laughs> it's my Let's Play, after all. Anyways. So, yes, now that we have that star key, we can actually do some stuff here. In this, uh, center building. Which maybe has to do something with, you know, advancing. Because we kind of met a dead end there. We couldn't really go past where Gloomtail was. But actually, yes, it does, because I played this game before. Why do I keep pretending like, you know, uh, what am I talking about? Oh my gosh. I should really get some level ups, that's really bothering me. Anywho, this is called the Riddle Tower! Woo! It doesn't even have an official name, I just made that up. Uh. And it effectively is just like you'd imagine it's a bunch of riddles in a tower. It's actually pretty darn fun once you uh, figure them all out. You're like, oh, yeah, I get it. But the majority of the people just go on Game Facts and, fit and you just read it. So <laughs> I can't really blame them. They are really cryptic for the most part. I guess they do have these little uh, sign things, but I've played this game so many times, I just master them all. In fact, that one says, just go for it, man. Just keep walking. And you walk through the door. And hey, there's a chest with something that is actually mandatory to be his place, which is Val's key. I guess it's not the... Riddle Tower after all, because it would be called the Tower Key. Who cares? You know? Nobody. Nobody does. Vivian, okay. For some reason, I thought, like, getting level ups does not heal your entire party, just the one you have at the time. Which, I don't know why I thought that. Wait, am I doing, I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's one for Flurry. Flurry has to blow this tapestry away. Reveal another chest with another key. Yeah. I don't know why they give you so much room over here, it's weird. Why is that one room so big? Music's really good in the final chapter, too. That's another thing that can ruin video games if not done properly. Music. Like, some final bosses don't even have a new music theme, it's just the, the same boss theme they've used for the whole game. I hate that. What is wrong with you? It's the most important part of the game, and you just ruined it. And some games nowadays don't even have boss fights. I'm come back to you, because I don't feel like it. Right now. <laughs> so we'll finish that up next episode.
when I'm done grinding, because I'm a loser. <laughs> I don't want to grind too much, though, because... Uh, let's see. Because the hit of 100 trials, it is actually a very good uh, tip to save a couple level ups so you get full heals while you're just advancing through the place. And you stop talking about that place, because I'm not there yet. I'm in the 8th chapter. I, keep, I always keep talking about the future. That's something bad about me. And yet again, I messed up. If I read the signs, I would know what to do. Okay, just bomb this wall. It's pretty darn simple. Pretty darn simple. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Straight on through, straight on through. We know the star spun us. Destroy all in your pain. Yeah, dude, this is the one with the bomb. Bomb, bomb, dude. Go for it. Go. Go. What the... Well, oh my gosh. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you, this room? I don't know... Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, dude, what, what the dump? I know, I know. You got a bomb there. You know? And I don't know why it says spinning. Like, it says, like, uh, that spun us. Like, I guess maybe, you know, it, you'd think to use your hammer thing to hit the wall, but it's not that. You just use a bomb. Maybe they're talking about Bob Ray's little spinny thing. I don't know. Maybe. So there's a chance. There's always a chance. I already came in here. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just wasting time. You're just wasting time. You need to have those reports done immediately. John, which is my name. Write it down. It's very unique, okay. And here's the deal with this room, alright? The second you start moving, these dudes are gonna start moving, alright? And what I have to do is you have to fight them in the weakest order. So the dark bones is gonna be last, and then the white bones after that. So what you gotta do is make it like a full lady and then start fighting them. So it should go regular bones and bloody bones, to the dry bones, then to dark bones. It's honestly a pretty tough puzzle. I don't know. I had to look that, this one up, actually. Which I know makes me a giant loser, but oh well. I wanted to beat the game. Can you blame me? Nope, you can't. Okay, there's a blue switch over there. Does this mean we get the vanish cap? I'm just a Nintendo reference. I stop doing those nasty, like, voice things. Like, this is... Ugh. It's like when people go... I hate that one. Punch them in the salmon. Okay. And off of the key getting, we have actually... There's eight keys in all, and I believe we have. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go to our key. All right, so we got four. So the next episode of Sway Paper Mouth Eyes in your door, we're going to continue with the Riddle Tower and get four more keys and see what the crowd they do. So I'll see you then.